Welcome back to the Gran Turismo 7 license guides. Today we're going to be focusing on the International A licenses. For the first license challenge, our breaking point is going to be at the 100 meter mark. We're breaking, heading towards the inside curb, but then moving towards the outside. Breaking a bit more, down into second. And then we head towards the outside of the track, then, then we're going to fully accelerate. For license challenge number two, our breaking point is going to be just before this telephone box on the left hand side, which is just before the 200 meter board. When we're breaking, we're going down in a second, we're going to miss the first apex. I went slightly wide here, we don't, you don't need to go as wide as that. Then we're going to go over the second and third turns, and then stick as close to the inside as you can on the fourth turn. License challenge number three, we're going to position ourselves on the left hand side of the track. Our first breaking point is going to be the blue Michelin tyre signs on the right hand side. You're aiming to try and tuck in as narrow as you can, which will set you up for a good exit on turn two. The next breaking point is all about personal preference and how it feels, but I chose the spectators on the left hand side as my breaking point. We're going to be turning in early to get the car rotated, and it's the same for the next set of corners as well. Turning in early, try and keep it as narrow as you possibly can. For license challenge number four, our first breaking point is going to be just as we get to this second back sign overhanging the track. We're going to be going over the inside curb here. We're going to be breaking down into first using the inside curb as well. Swing into the outside, up into second using a lot of the outside track as well. Letting off just as we're going around turn three. And our breaking point is just as this orange barrier comes into our field of view on the right hand side. I broke slightly late here which forced us wide but we still ended up getting the goal time anyway. For license challenge number five, the way I did it was I broke just as we approached this first Goodyear sign on the left hand side. Letting off slightly if you need to just to regain the traction. As we're going around this left hander we're going to be flat out. I turned in slightly too early for this right hander which put me on the kerb. And our final braking point is as we get to this third RMC sign on the right hand side. Be careful not to go too wide here because you, you will go off and you will fail the challenge. For license challenge number six, first breaking point is going to be between the four and the three. I chose this pickup truck on the right hand side as our breaking point. We're going down into second. We're going to turn in early, get our right hand side tyres on the inside of the red and white curbing. And on the exit, we're aiming for the middle of our car over the red and white curbing. As we go under the bridge, we're going to let off slightly, dab on the brakes as we're going around the corner and then accelerate. For license challenge number seven, when we get to our first braking point, we're just going to let off slightly. You can dab on the brakes if you need to. Aim to go over as much of the kerb as you can. Then our braking point is going to be just after this puddle and just before the 50 meter mark. Braking down into second. On the exit, we're going to be gentle on the accelerator, going from about 50 to 75%. You don't want to use 100% throttle until the car is straight. For license challenge number eight, our first and only braking point is going to be as we get to the top of the hill. Make sure to brake in a straight line, and then we're going down into second gear. 
For the next left and right hander we're going to be positioning our car in the middle of the kerbin. On the exit of the left hander we're going to let off the accelerator, dab on the brake slightly and then accelerate to the line. For license challenge number 9, I turn my brake balance to minus 2. We're using a lot of curb on the left hand side, letting off just as we're going around this right hander, there's no need to brake there. And then our first braking point is going to be just as we've come off the curbing on the left hand side. We're braking just as we come out of the tunnel, and when you can see the second tunnel clearly, that's when we're going to fully accelerate. And we'll brake in as we go over this curbing on the right hand side, down into third, get onto the accelerator as soon as you can. As we go over the different colour concrete, that is when we're going to be braking. And on the exit, be sure to use as much of the red and white curbing as you can. Well, license challenge number 10, this was the one that I definitely struggled with the most, uh, mostly because I don't have much experience at the Nürburgring, so I decided to turn the braking areas on. The best piece of advice I can give you for this license is to avoid the curbs that are raised. If you're going to go on curbs, you go on the ones that are flat, as if you do this, you will lose a lot of time. And there we have it for the International A licenses. On the left will be a link to all the Gran Turismo 7 license videos. And on the right will be a link to the Gran Turismo 7 missions. 